My name is Captain Greg Beaverson, United States Air Force, former, all right. But I'm also very proud to say I'm from the City of Columbus Department of Human Resources. Welcome to the 2023 City of Columbus Veterans Appreciation Day Luncheon. A big thank you also to Mayor Ginther for allowing us all to be here today. We appreciate that. Also a big thank you to Mr. Tom Krause, President and CEO of Donato's Pizza for bringing all of this great pizza today. Let's give them both a round. It, it happens every uh, so many years, doesn't it? That appreciation and acknowledgement of veterans begins to wane. Then when conflicts arise, such as those now in Eastern Europe and the Middle East, Americans once again recognize the past and present service and the sacrifice made by veterans and their families. Well, today is for you. We're here to recognize you and your military service and to say thank you. So let me be among the first today to say thank you for your service. Thank you. Now let's all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, please be seated. No, no one performs that song better than Mr. Rob McNeil, Department of Building and Zoning Services.
like to uh, now introduce Mr. Andy Cloyd, the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. Thanks, thanks, Greg. You guys can hear me? Uh, well, thanks for inviting us to your luncheon for the city of Columbus. Uh, and I'm, I'm the first of three Andes to talk today, so uh, get used to that. Um, just a, a quick raise of hands. Um, who, is, who has attended and been a visitor at the National Veterans Memorial Museum? Raise your hand. Okay, who, who has a good excuse as to why you haven't been, a really good excuse why you haven't been there yet? Um, just a, a, quick, a quick reminder, uh, last week we celebrated our five-year anniversary, if you guys can believe it, five years here in Columbus. Um, and we, we feel like we're just getting started on a lot of, of new initiatives uh, for our community and then the community that surrounds the whole country here uh, as we're all part of that veteran community. And uh, we, we just started kind of a, a new campaign about what we do, and we, we want everyone to think about the things that they can be a part of as part of the museum, whether it's a, a resilience and wellness program. Yeah, we do that. Whether it's helping veteran small businesses and, and veteran-friendly businesses, we do that. Uh, honoring our, our veterans on those very uh, significant days, like Veterans Day on Saturday, which is uh, a free ceremony this Saturday, or Memorial Day, or Patriot Day, or Vietnam Veterans Day, uh, we do that. Um, in case you guys missed it, veterans are always free to come to the museum in active duty. Uh, and we're working on some programs for next year. Uh, we're gonna call them partnership days, where um, we're gonna work with, with the mayor and other groups that uh, a whole two week period next year will be City of Columbus days. And all the employees and their families get to come to the museum uh, for maybe a dollar to experience it. Because we know when veterans come to experience the museum and what, what we're doing there, um, they're gonna get it. And they're gonna feel like, yes, they, I see myself in this museum. And I wanna share that with my family, with my neighbors, and with the kids that uh, uh, go to school down the, down the road. So, and that's what we're all about. So I'm not surprised when I say who's been there and, and half the room raised their hand, uh, because in essence, we're still getting uh, used to our surroundings here, but just letting you guys know we're, we're here to stay. And this is your museum. We built this museum, the people of Columbus, this community built this museum to make it here in Columbus as the National Veterans Memorial Museum. At the time, only the 20th museum nationally throughout the country, right here in Columbus. So the more that you guys visit or be a part of it, whether it's programming or watching us online or sharing your stories or bring your family with us, um, you guys connect us to the outside world. Um, and like I said, we're just getting started, but it's important for us to come here to days like today to recognize you all. And again, say thank you for the most of us, we'll, you'll hear it throughout the, the lunch, and thank you for your service and thank you for our freedom. Um, and it's great to see that your service continues with the city of Columbus, and uh, you should be proud of that. But more importantly, get down to the museum. It's four and a half minutes down this road. Come out, take a left, and come see us. It's your museum. We built it for you guys and your families. So come be a part of it. And again, in case I missed it, tomorrow's a big birthday. I see one Marine Corps, Marine Corps birthday tomorrow. There we go. And don't forget Veterans Day ceremony at the museum this Saturday. But again, in our line of work, every day is Veterans Day at the museum. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Andy, <coughs> excuse me, uh, from the Department of Veteran Affairs. On behalf of the Central Ohio VA Healthcare System, I would like to say thank you for your service. We appreciate you. Um, that's why I'm here today to hopefully connect with some of you. Um, how many veterans are enrolled in VA healthcare? Raise your hand. I'd like to see that. Um, so if you didn't raise your hand because you weren't sure if you ever enrolled, even decades ago, uh, see me after the, after the talks and I can check into that for you. Um, 
or if you're wondering if, if you are eligible for VA health care, you can come see me. Um, I know there are certain requirements. Uh, many of you are working now, but may be looking towards retirement. Um, so that's where some may be eligible depending on the uh, retirement uh, income there. Um, and I can go over that with you. Um, I know the past year has been packed at. So if you were exposed to toxic exposures while in military service, whether it was uh, burn pits or Agent Orange, um, you may be eligible. Um, and if you have any questions as to whether or not you're eligible, see me afterwards. Uh, and again, I wanna say thank you all to your service um, for our country and for our city. And next, we're going to go to Matthew, Matthew Zelnick from the Franklin County Veterans Service Commission. Good afternoon. I'm Matt Zelnick. I'm the Assistant Director of the Franklin County Veterans Service Commission. We're halfway between here and the National Veterans Memorial Museum on Broad Street as well. Uh, if you're not aware of what we do, we are a, a county agency designed to help veterans. We provide temporary financial assistance. We provide, we have veter uh, accredited service officers that work VA claims for veterans and family members to get enrolled and whether it's enrolling in healthcare or whether it's getting service connected for those long-term payments, we can help with that. We're a small staff of about 28 here to serve the 60,000 veterans in Franklin County but we're very excited about coming to work every day and trying to make a difference. Um, as a resident of, of Columbus, I want to say thank you for your service. Uh, it's a great opportunity to come here and say, you have served and we recognize that, but you continue to serve today. And events like this are very important because one, it recognizes you and your service and your family's service, which allows us to continue to live in an era of freedom, but it also pays it forward. How a country treats its veterans today is how the youth of the veterans of tomorrow see their willingness to serve. If you don't know, 2023 is the 50th anniversary of the all volunteer force, which means in our country, military service, it's a choice. So when people come to these events and people hear your story as veterans and, and each of us have our own story as veterans, it's very good to share that story and they see that we treat our veterans with respect and, and that's very important. I had the opportunity to serve for 33 years in the military and in the Air Force, got to see a lot of different countries and work with a lot of different militaries, but I'm convinced what we have in America is unique. Your service and, and your commitment to your country is unique. And when someone does say thank you for your service, it is from the heart and it is genuine because you've made a difference. So again, thank you for your service. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Tom Krause from Donatus. My name's Tom Krause. I'm the CEO and president of Donato's Pizza. I've been coming here, I think, for 10 years, and I'm just so honored to be able to serve those who serve. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we enjoy. And I think about the things that I love and the three top ones, tell my wife I put her at the top, my wife, number one, pizza, number two, and music. Those are, those are my loves, and, and I'm honored that Zane asked me to uh, sing a song for you. Uh, I think I'm convinced it's, he got tired of hearing me speak, so he said, just sing instead. Uh, but I have a deal, I'm gonna sing America the Beautiful, and I'm gonna, I won't sing all eight verses. I will sing the first verse, but the second time I sing it, it'd be great if you would sing along with me. I'd appreciate that. Let me get this a little bit closer. <clears throat> oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green, for pearls. above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace. 
Thank you so much, and, and thank you for your service. Um, we decided to offer you free lunch at any of our Donatos on Saturday. If you come into the dining room, we'll have free lunch for you, uh, just as a small token of our appreciation. So thank you very much. And next, I want to introduce uh, from the Office of D uh, Diversity and uh, Inclusion, Katrina Cannon. Good afternoon. As a daughter of the Vietnam veteran, I'd like to honor you today and say thank you for your sacrifice and service to our, our nation and our city. Historically, the city of Columbus has been an employer where employees can earn sustainable wages for themselves and their families. However, we heard from our employees and they expressed wanting more inclusivity. They want to engage and have a sense of community here in the workplace. With that, today, I want to talk to you about the significance of joining the Veterans Employee Resource Groups here at the City of Columbus. ERGs, or Employee Resource Groups, offer a fantastic opportunity for employees to connect with other employees across the city with common interests and backgrounds. Through your work with military, you've shown dedication, commitment, and sacrifice in serving our country. And these qualities are extremely valuable here in the workplace. Joining an ERG can be a pivotal step in civilian career, and here's why. One, they offer camaraderie and support. It offers a sense of community. Like your time in the service, these groups provide an environment where you can connect with like-minded individuals who understand your experiences and even your challenges. It also helps to give you an opportunity to bridge that gap between military life and civilian life. Next, it offers professional and personal growth opportunities allows you to build on your military experience and knowledge. It also offers a platform for both personal and professional growth. Networking gives you an opportunity to network with other employees across the city, which is immeasurable. ERGs give you access to a diverse and extensive network within this organization. These connections can be instrumental in finding new opportunities and also growing your career. Lastly, community outreach. Many ERGs engage community, community outreach and volunteer oppor opportunities. Joining an ERG at the City of Columbus offers a chance to continue your tradition of service and giving back to local community and supporting causes you're passionate about. 
In closing, joining an ERG can be a powerful asset to your civilian career. It's an opportunity to grow, connect, and positively impact other employees here at the city. Your experiences as a veteran are invaluable, and ERGs is a perfect place to leverage them for your benefit and for the betterment of our organization. I'd like to again thank Zane for offering me an opportunity to come speak with you. We have a table in the back if you'd like to sign up for an ERG. And again, thank you so much for your service and sacrifice. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce Councilwoman Lourdes Barosa de Padilla. I'm gonna take this off of here for just a second. Hopefully this is not gonna do a loud screech. Yes, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am your one of your Columbus City Council members, Lord Asperoso de Padilla. I first wanna bring you greetings on behalf of the Columbus City Council. I also wanna give a shout out to, I like to say I'm part of their team, our folks in public service who I know that I saw some of them out there. So I just wanna give a shout out to them that I work with them very closely. I also wanna thank our folks in, um, uh, for in Rec and Parks. Actually, this facility, if you've never been in it before, is an amazing facility because this allows for folks with um, uh, injuries or different abilities to have adaptive services. So all of the equipment that you see right up there are allowed for people who have, again, different abilities. In this space was the first time I ever uh, shot an air pistol, which is a form of uh, therapy for veterans that actually is run out of the center by Zen Jones, who has been referred to many times, but I wanna give him a shout out because I, I believe that Zane right now is actually fulfilling his uh, obligation as a reservist. And so I wanna give him a shout out because he is one of our big partners at the city and certainly has taken us on a journey of understanding um, what the opportunities and challenges are for veterans. So if y'all could give Zane a round of applause. and. I also want to say why well, I shouted out public service. I obviously am a big part of y'all team of, of your team. Um, I think uh, I had the opportunity as a younger person to serve as an AmeriCorps member. AmeriCorps is a corporation for national and community service, so it gives young people, actually people of all ages, an opportunity to serve right here in uh, their country. And so while it's not the same as military service, I hope that uh, I am in partnership with the service that you were providing and that you did provide to our country and serving our country. And and continuing that service here in the city of Columbus, because I recognize that on many days, whether it's a holiday or whether it's inclement weather or whether it's a pandemic, uh, all of you in this room literally continue to help the service, this city move. And that is significant and important and you don't always get the thank you and uh, you don't always get the appreciation you deserve. And so I just wanna say thank you for your continued service and the service that you've provided to our country. When I became the chair of veteran services for the city of Columbus, as the sister of an army veteran and the sister-in-law of a Marine Corps veteran, um, it was important for me to really uplift and invest invest in the stories of our people and the prosperity of our people and to recognize that today is both a celebration of your service and it is a celebration of the progress that we have made to fulfill our promise to care for you after you have done so much to care for our country, but to acknowledge that we still have a ways to go to ensure that we are taking care of our people. And so our office has held roundtables. Our office has uh, partnered with many of the folks who are sitting up here today to ensure that we are doing that here in the city of Columbus, that we understand there are still gaps in services to our veterans when it comes to housing stability, when it comes to health care, when it comes to uh, prosperity for the people who have served our country. And so it is our commitment working with the mayor's office. We've done things like the Vet Expo that started at the amazing museum, Veterans Museum, but that was held here that uh, helps to elevate 
entrepreneurs that are veterans, but then also the, com the organizations and businesses that are serving veterans. I invite you to join that effort. We also have um, putting, putting uh, dollars forward to have a veteran chamber of commerce that specifically meets the unique needs of veterans when they're trying to start a business and so much more that we're doing at the city of Columbus. So again, I wanna say thank you for your service. Thank you for your continued service. Our office is only a phone call away because while you work for the city of Columbus, you are still a constituent of the city of Columbus and we are here to serve you and again to honor our promise to care for you and for all of your families. So thank you again and thank you for joining us today and every day we should celebrate the work that you do and continue to do. And with that, I would like to introduce our mayor uh, to close out this powerful event, I, uh, Mayor Andrew Ginther. Good afternoon and uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your service, not just as uh, veterans, but as colleagues in public service here to our city. I was thinking of you this week when I went to vote up at Winterset Elementary School on the Northwest side. And it was just a powerful, it, 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 it caught me. Uh, I don't know why this year, maybe after the last couple of years and challenges with democracy and freedom around the, the country and the world, that in my polling location, you had Republicans, Democrats, and independents all committed to the democratic process. They were working together to make sure everybody's votes were counted, that it was transparent, and that they were going to be accountable to the greater community about whatever happened those results uh, would be accepted and accepted. And I thought of you all. I thought of my dad who uh, just lost a few years ago after a battle with cancer that many connected to his time in Vietnam. A grenade landed between he and his best buddy uh, on a tank in the Central Highlands. His friend did not make it. Dad lost half his vision and hearing and had scars the rest of his life, ultimately lost a battle with cancer that was connected to what so many Vietnam vets experienced and were exposed to in the late 60s and early 70s. So when people talk to me about veterans and veterans today, it's personal. One of the very first things I did when I became mayor, because it drove me bananas that veterans had to work on Veterans Day in the city of Columbus until I became mayor. When I went to Director Brandon and said, we got to figure this out. Veterans are not going to work on Veterans Day in the city of Columbus as long as I'm the mayor. And we changed that, and I'm proud of that. I'm also very proud of the work that you do every day in our neighborhoods. You're on the front lines, helping to make sure we protect safe drinking water, provide high-quality services through public services, recreation and parks, human resources. So many of you do so many good things to make our city special, and I'm proud of you. Also proud that some of our best employees in the city of Columbus are veterans, and grateful for all that they continue to contribute. So today we celebrate you uh, and your families. Because it's not just individuals who serve, it's families who serve. And oftentimes because of that service, just like for my dad, those scars went with them for the rest of their lives and impacted their health, their quality of life, not just their physical health, but their mental and emotional health. And so uh, on behalf of a grateful city, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm bringing up Greg Beaverson to close this out. I'll put this back here. Everybody knows I'm short. Thank you, Mayor Ginther. Thank you, speakers. We appreciate your time uh, for being here today. Uh, you know, um, in the military, we have uh, traditions. It's undisputable. A long-standing tradition 
involves challenge coins. By the way, I bet I challenge anyone here today to beat this one that I have. It says, United States of America Department of Defense. This was given to me by uh, Secretary of Defense William Cohen about uh, 24, 25 years ago when I was a, uh, an ROTC cadet. So that's a hard one to beat. If you've got the presidents, then, then you win. But we're starting uh, a new tradition, as Mayor Ginther was saying. The new tradition is we don't have to come to work on Veterans Day anymore. <laughs> thank you. So thank you uh, to Mayor Ginther for that. Um, so uh, I'm sure everyone remembers I said that I was from Human Resources. When's the last time someone from Human Resources said, told you not to come into work, but don't come into work tomorrow. Tomorrow we're observing Veterans Day, which is actually on Saturday, but for us it's tomorrow. So don't come into work. Um, before we wrap things up here, I wanna make sure that we um, give uh, one more thank you out and that's to um, Mr. Preston Shepard in the Therapeutic Recreation Fitness Center, uh, which is where we are right now. Preston, where are you? There you are right here. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> While it's a city facility, Preston and, and his staff, are um, they, they allow us to use this venue here every year. And so we're very appreciative of it, thank you. Um, Preston wanted me to make sure to let everyone know that the Therapeutic Recreation Fitness Center is open to all employees at no cost. This stuff up here looks pretty fun, I've never done it, but at no cost, open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Fridays. So thanks again. And um, with that, um, as you leave, we're going to have this distinguished group of people at the uh, doors lining up to shake all of your hands and thank you for your service. So everyone, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for being a member of the United States military. And thank you for your service to the city of Columbus. Thanks. <laughs>